Hello, welcome to story time. Today's theme is new books. And the first thing we will do today is our hello song. Hello, 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 and how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine, and I hope that you are too. The first book I have today is called Don't Worry Little Crab. Little crab and very big crab live in a tiny tide pool. Today, they're off to the ocean. This is going to be so great, says little crab. They go tick-a-tack tick, tick-a-tack tick over the rocks, splish splash, splish splash across the pools and squelch, squelch, squelch through the slimy, slippery seaweed. I can go anywhere, says little crab. Finally, they get to the very edge. Here we are, says very big crab. The ocean, oh, says little crab. Maybe it's better if we don't go in the ocean, says little crab. Don't worry, says very big crab. It will be okay. But the waves are getting bigger. Look, a huge wave. Hold tight. Here it comes. Whoosh. I think we've had enough of the ocean now, says Little Crab. Let's just go a little bit farther, says Very Big Crab. I think you'll like it. But the waves keep getting bigger and bigger. Another one, hold tight, here it comes. Whoosh. I don't think I like the ocean, says Little Crab. Maybe we should go home. Don't worry, little crab, says very big crab. I'm here. Come, just a few more steps. Little crab takes a step, then another, until... I'm in the ocean, says little crab. But then they see an enormous wave. It gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Ready, asked Very Big Crab. Little Crab nods. They take a deep breath. Here it comes. Whoosh. Down, down, down they go. Look, Little Crab. Everyone comes to say hello. My name is Little Crab, says Little Crab. They eat delicious seaweed. They run all across the seafloor and they have a giant game of hide and seek. I love the ocean, says Little Crab. Yes, but it's time to go home now, says Very Big Crab. What? Why? I really don't want to go home, says Little Crab. Well, how about we go the long way home, says Very Big Crab. Can we go up this way, asks Little Crab. I think you can go anywhere, says Very Big Crab, and off they went. Okay, the next thing we will do today is we are going to sing our ABCs. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? And the last book I have today is called Rain Boy. And this is about the brightest colors shine from within.
Once there was a rain boy. Rain boy was not popular around the sandbox or the monkey bars or the soccer field. Because of course, when rain boy was around, it rained. Sun kid was another story. Sun kid was new. She was from somewhere on the other side of the planet. Sun kid was the talk of the playground. She was popular at barbecues, at tea parties, and at the beach. Because when sun was around, it was sunny. Her birthday was smack dab in the middle of summer and her parents decided to throw her a big sleepover surprise party. The whole class was coming. Rain Boy had never been to a birthday party before. And he might never go to one again. This wasn't the surprise anybody had planned. Oh no, he's getting everything wet, cried Olive. The cake is melting, shouted Star. The presents are ruined. Soon, everyone was yelling, rain, rain, go away. Just then, sun, sun came down the stairs. Cut it out. Stop yelling at him. Sun was ashamed of her friends. She ran back up to her room and slammed the door. The room was silent, but Rain Boy still heard the words. They looped over and over in his head. Rain, rain, go away. And so he did. A storm began to brew. Rain Boy didn't come back to school. Neither did Sun Kid. The kids said he must have kidnapped her. It didn't matter what Miss Parks told them. A day turned into weeks, into months of rain. People learned to live with wetness. They stayed inside and drank hot cocoa. Their flowers bloomed and their grass turned greener. They noticed they were talking to each other a lot more. One by one, the neighborhood kids stepped out of their houses and into the streets. They came out to play in the rain. In this wet wonderland, flowers and trees were more vibrant. Beautiful reflections shimmered and stretched across streets. The kids skipped and stomped through puddles. One morning, Rain Boy took a deep breath and peeked outside. With a big sigh, he stormed a little less hard. The thunder and lightning stopped. Only rain now. Looking at the, the disheveled Shelf town, Rain Boy felt really tired. Sun Kid heard the rain get softer on her roof. She peeked out of her covers and through the clouds. Rain Boy? Look! It was the first time Rain Boy felt that people actually liked having him around. Rain Boy puffed up with pride. He decided if it, it was time to be brave. Play was better together. So the next time you're feeling down in the world, your world is dark and gray, just look up. The end. I hope you enjoyed these books.